This week and next week, we'll be reviewing primary colors and secondary colors. We're also going to be adding texture. We're also going to be learning about overlapping, which is part of space. And of course, we'll be using shapes and lines to draw our pictures. So we're going to be using a lot of the elements of art, line, shapes, color, texture, and space. We're going to be drawing overlapping glass faces. Overlapping means that something is in front and something is behind, and there's parts that share a space. So that part that is hidden behind the object in the front is called the overlapping space. Because we're gonna be drawing glass, we're gonna actually be able to see the part that's overlapping, and we'll be drawing that part as well. But if these were not made of glass, like with these opaque cups, opaque means that light doesn't go through, then you won't actually see the lines that are overlapping. We're going to be drawing colored glass. So when colored glass overlaps, the part that is shared is going to mix the two colors because light is coming through. If light can go through, it is called transparent. Quick review, primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. If we mix two of the primary colors, you get a secondary color. Red plus yellow is orange. Yellow plus blue is green. Red plus blue is violet. Last week, we talked about different kinds of face shapes. So you can use face shapes for your colored glass object drawings, or you can draw cups, you can draw jars. Anything that is made of glass will work for this project. Today, we're going to be reviewing the element of color. Color is one of the elements of art, which are the parts that make up an artwork. Lines can make artwork, shapes can, color can. We also talked about how form is a 3D shape and it is an important part of your art as well, especially if you're making clay or sculpture projects. And we'll also be talking about the element of space. Space is how you use up your art space to make your artwork and we'll talk about that when we do a project. First, we're going to do the art workbook activity. If you have one, you're welcome to do it. If not, then you can just watch this part. So we did this color mixing exercise earlier in the year. So remember that red plus yellow is orange, red plus blue is violet or purple, yellow plus blue is green, and red, yellow, and blue are primary colors. If you mix two primary colors together, we get secondary colors. So today we're going to be making a color wheel. A color wheel is a wheel of colors, exactly what the name says, organized in a specific order. And the order is gonna be rainbow order. We're going to read the names of the colors and color it in with the correct order. If you do have watercolor paint, I would like you to try to mix your own orange, violet, and green, the secondary colors. If you don't, I will show you how you can mix your own colors using markers, or you can just pick the right colors from your crayon or other art toolbox. So if you're gonna use watercolor paint, Make sure you get it nice and wet. And it's best to start with the lighter color so that your darker colors don't make the lighter colors dirty. So yellow is my lightest, so I made a puddle in the yellow, gently and soaking up that water in the paintbrush. And I'm painting in the pizza slice or a pie slice that says yellow. If you start with the edges first, it'll help you stay inside of the lines. If you're using crayons, then make sure you get the right color. And then also start by adding the border, the edges. The goal of this part of this week's assignment is to first review the element of color and also to develop your craft. Remember to always practice using your tools as neatly as you can. If you're using markers, same thing, start at the edges so that you can develop your craft. Go all the way to the lines and don't go in with big area. That's how you get scribbly lines. Start with small sections and color so that there's no white showing through. So first I colored my primary colors. The reason why I colored the primary colors first is because it's gonna help you pick the right colors to mix together when you make your three secondary colors. So you mix the colors that are next to the color you're trying to make in the color wheel, and then you get that color. 
So red plus yellow orange, blue plus red is violet, yellow plus blue is green. So if you're using dry coloring tools, you would pick the right color. Same thing, developing your craft by starting at the edges and coloring in small sections all the way to the edges. Now I'm gonna review how to mix watercolor paint on the paper to make a secondary color. So I'm gonna try yellow plus red is orange. So make your paintbrush wet. We're not using the orange from the tray. Take yellow, rinse it off, take red, and then start with the lighter color. Let that yellow soak up, paint all the way, and then rinse off your paintbrush. And then now I'm gonna get some red, but this time you gotta be very careful not to make it too red. So you're going to very carefully, slowly mix in the red until it turns orange. So it's still kind of yellow, so I'm gonna get some more red. Now it's turning orange, maybe a little bit more red. Okay, now we have a nice orange. So that's how you would mix watercolor paint on the paper. But also, if you don't have watercolor paint but have regular markers, you could try and mix colors on the paper. Start with the lighter color. So I'm making red plus blue is violet. So I colored with red first. It's a little bit lighter than the blue. And then this time, you're going to kind of scribble lightly over it. We don't want to make it too blue, so just scribble over it kind of lightly. Make your paintbrush wet with just water. Go over it and try and mix those colors. Maybe I want a little bit more blue. And now I have a violet, purplish color. So I would like you to try practicing coloring the color wheel if you have the workbook. Make sure to read the words and color in the right order, starting with the three primary colors, then mixing or finding the right color for the secondary colors. In today's project, we're going to practice overlapping. That is one way to use the element of space. And also we're going to be reviewing the element of color and color mixing, mixing primary colors to get secondary colors. We're also going to be adding the element of texture. So there's a lot of elements of art that's gonna go into this project. On our paper, we're going to first draw a line close to the bottom of the paper. Then we're going to draw another line a little bit higher. And we're going to be erasing these lines later, so make sure these are kind of light. Then we're going to be drawing two lines on that bottom line. Those are going to be the bottom of the glasses or the vases or cups that you're going to be drawing. So I'm gonna draw a base shape on this side, I think. So for second graders, this is a preview for the shape of the base as well. And for this side, I think I'm going to draw a cup. Maybe I'll make this a little bit skinnier. So you guys never have to do the same shape as mine. You can do your own designs. So I have a base and a cup. And then now trace those two shapes with a Sharpie marker. If you don't have a Sharpie marker or would prefer to use a crayon, that's okay too. Now on that higher line that we drew in the beginning, draw the bottom of a third vase and then draw its shape. And then this time if you have a skinnier tracing tool, like a skinny Sharpie or even a colored pencil, switch to a skinnier one and trace over. If you don't have a skinnier tracing tool, you could also just leave it with pencil. That way, the first two vases are going to look darker and the third one is going to look lighter. And that's going to help it make it look like the two things on the bottom are in the front and the lighter third one is in the back. Now we're going to add some texture. Remember, texture is how something feels. And glass is usually pretty smooth but some glass objects do have texture. So you can look around your house, look at different kinds of glasses or vases, and if you see any textures that you like, go ahead and add it to your glass drawings. For the drawings in the front, thicker tracing tool, and for the one in the back, make sure you use the thinner one. And there we go. So today we're just going to be drawing these three overlapping shapes and adding texture. Next week we'll be adding color and reviewing primary and secondary colors one more time. So today please just upload a picture of your drawing. You don't have to color it yet, we'll do that next week.